drilling, upstream, exploration and production, they all basically involve the extraction of oil and gas from below the Earth's surface. The, the, the skills and the equipment and the, the technology required for drilling is a highly specialised area and involves a lot of specialised equipment and skills. The NESC Drilling Academy is one of the very few schools in the world that actually offer this training. At the NESC Drilling Academy, we offer drilling rig operations diploma and a certificate level in the drilling rig maintenance. The drilling rig operations basically covers the, the theory and the practical required to understand the, the intricacies of the actual operations on the drilling rig. The, it gives you a little bit of breakdown from the planning to the well, the well completions aspects of the drilling operations. Trinidad and Tobago are in the business of exporting not only products but labour as well. The, there's a scene in the industry that the two things you're sure to find on a drilling rig is a pipe wrench and a trinity. And a trinity where we, ex, we export a lot of the personnel to work in drilling rigs across the world and to increase their, their, their qualifications and competencies is one of the goals of the National, the National Energy Skills Centre Drilling Academy. The reason for choosing the NESC Drill Academy is basically is one of a kind and first in the region where we actually learn real practical skills on a rig from making and breaking drill connections. We learn pipe tallies, trip sheets, mud pumps, and the circulation system. Even work on the direct on the as a direct man on the monkey board and a few driller controls on the, on the consoles that we drill up. In the previous cycle, there was a colleague of mine who actually working in Azerbaijan and, and next one working in Guyana. So there is opportunities abroad for work. I myself would like to work in Guyana basically because it's closer to home or Canada because it's a Canadian program as well. The oil and gas industry is a very unforgiving one, um, meaning that you can't afford to make mistakes. Our students, they are trained not just to understand theory or to sit in a classroom, but they are trained to go out there in the workplace and not make mistakes, to put their best foot forward. How do they do this? Well, from our training that we do, which um, I could name a couple of training, they learn how to make and break connections, hoist pipe, lower pipe, um, they learn all about the circulation system, um, they do a bit of Kelly drilling, you name it. So they are well equipped to work in the industry. Now this curriculum, it's not just for meals. I know um, people tend to think that it's a male dominated industry, it's not. We have female students as well and they excel just as well as the male students. The Drill and Rig Operations program prepares our students to be employed right after the program. So this means after two years of training of both theory and practical, they are ready to go out into the industry to work. Why? They have seen a rig, they have worked on a rig, and they have worked with a number of different personnel from both their project work and their theory, which they would have had to research. So it's a very lucrative business, the oil and gas industry. It, it's high risk, but it pays well. There's a big incentive for students to work out there and to do the drill and rig operations program because they know that they're going to be paid well, they're going to work really hard, but it's going to pay off in the end. Our trainees, they have one year in which they do the rig mechanical program. So around that time, they are prepped for industrial experience. After the one year, they are able to function at any driller rig, which is on land and possibly offshore. So basically what they do, in terms of startup and shutdown procedures, they follow all safety procedures and all protocols in terms of start, which is standard operating procedures. After they have done this one year training, they are competent in terms of doing this task at minimum supervision or no supervision at all from the instructor. Well, we would generally look to NESC drilling school um, to fulfill positions on the roster board level. What we found is that a lot of the clients um, are more comfortable putting 
personnel with experience in the maintenance department and, that by, and by that I mean the mechanics and the motormen. However, just due to natural attrition or promotion to the lifetime of a, of, a, of a project, you would find that roustabouts sometimes have opportunities to become motormen or sometimes motormen um, get opportunities to become mechanics. So programs and institutions like NESC that allow um, its graduates or its intake to be multidisciplinary in terms of their focus or their programs could, could help us fill many gaps. Um, we would like to bridge um, the gap or, or, or to lessen the learning curve as best as we can, particularly with new entrants. Um, while experience is always something that is looked um, favorably by recruiters or, or, or by headhunters or even um, organizations, you have to breed life. You have to introduce new people into the business. Um, and therefore, we look at schools that give a, a solid technical foundation, such as the NESC Drilling School, um, to help us put candidates that we think would be sustainable um, in, the, in the medium to long term, as well as candidates that have some bit of understanding as to the demands of the environment. What I learned at NESC, and I went into Halliburton, it was very, I would say 85% of what I learned from NESC is what I am doing at Halliburton. The next 15% is just experience I need on rig and learning the different equipment we have. And I would recommend this course for anyone worldwide to get into the field of drilling because one, you have both theory and practical exams. You get an experience on rig and you get an experience on a working rig.